three, two, one. The announcement that Artemis II could lift off in February marks the latest milestone in America's renewed push to the moon. The 10-day mission will carry four astronauts around the lunar surface and back the first human journey beyond low Earth orbit since 1972. Artemis is NASA's flagship lunar program, designed not only to revisit where Apollo left off, but to lay the foundations for a permanent human presence on the moon and, eventually, missions to Mars. Artemis II is a test flight for Artemis III, planned for 2027, when astronauts will attempt to land at the moon's south pole, an area believed to contain frozen water that could be turned into drinking supplies, breathable oxygen, and even rocket fuel. There is a large investment in order to achieve the great things that we want to do with a program the size of Artemis. For every dollar that we spend on this hardware, three dollars comes back into the, the U.S. Treasury. So there is, uh, I think it's an incredible investment uh, in our country uh, to, to be uh, trying to build these amazing spacecraft. Beyond science and economics, Artemis also raises ethical questions. As competition with China grows, NASA stresses Artemis is a civilian mission, framed as exploration for the benefit of all humankind. The agency says the program is firmly on track, with Artemis II paving the way for a planned lunar landing under Artemis III in 2027.